Investigators are still trying to figure out a motive behind the shooting of an off-duty housing authority officer in Northeast Washington. The sergeant is still recovering and was scheduled for surgery again today. The 27-year-old veteran, the 27-year veteran of the force was in his personal vehicle along New York Avenue when he exchanged gunfire with the driver of a gray Honda. As Paul Wagner reports, police are still looking for that suspect. Last night, as the sergeant's Kia SUV was towed from the scene, News 4 was able to get footage showing where gunfire hit the car. It looks like three bullets went through the front windshield, and as many as four more hit the right rear passenger window and door. The sergeant was hit once in the side and is expected to survive. In a phone interview with News 4, the chief of the Housing Authority Police, Joel Maupin, said the sergeant normally drives to work in street clothes and would change into his uniform at work. He doesn't think the 27-year veteran was targeted. However, the Kia does have license plates with the image of a badge with a blue ribbon and the words active member. Maupin says there was an exchange of gunfire as the two drove west on New York Avenue near Montana Avenue Northeast. But today, D.C. police say no one injured by gunfire showed up at a local hospital. And investigators have not recovered a gray Honda with tinted windows and Maryland plates that may have been damaged in a shooting. Outside the Housing Authority Police headquarters this morning, a fellow officer had nothing but praise for the sergeant. My man saved my life a couple times, so of course he's my friend. Um, there's been times when we got into commotions and um, I had his back and he had my back. I was worried about him passing away because he's my friend. The Housing Authority Police is a small force that patrols public housing in the district. In the district, Paul Wagner, News 4.